You stop, breathe. I promise you everything's going to be okay. Stop stressing so much, girl. I don't even think you'd hear that. Hey, girl. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful Aries. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week, Aries. Now, I also do your weekly... Uh, I guess I obviously do your weekly general Aries, but I do your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person, Aries, which I'll leave a link to over here. I also put a link to um, your spirit guide messages as well. I did that one a couple weeks ago. Uh, so let me know what y'all think. But when it comes to any of my messages, Aries, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Aries. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate, Aries, and leave what doesn't, because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, Aries. I promise you. If you find some cards that resonate with you, though, Aries, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, right? And if you do find some cards that resonate with you, Aries, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give me the time to Take the extra time, rather, to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my channel a lot. I always am super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me, Aries. And finally, before we get into this reading, I just want you to remember, Aries, that this reading here is just to give you some perspective, right? These are just some tarot cards, right? I'm not here to make a decision in your life, because ultimately, it's your life to live, not mine. So, this reading here is just here to provide you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week. So, with all that in mind, Aries, let's get into this reading now. I pulled some general cards for your uh, the overall energy this week for you, Aries, and we'll start with that. I'll do the uh, Moon Oracle card for you first. We have the South Node. Don't let the past hold you back. Now, Aries, whenever this card comes forward, honey, this is usually, I mean, you know me, I have my own communication with these cards, honey. So when I see this card, I will raise an eyebrow because I see this as an individual that is... <laughs> usually referencing some type of past we'll cons we'll call it like a failure right it doesn't serve like do you see it as like a failure if you see it as like a bump in the road right it doesn't serve me any purpose in me saying it's just like oh like you learned something from it right it's like no honey you it feels like a failure like maybe something just like disappointed you it doesn't have to be failure but something just disappointed you something kind of let you down something kind of like uh perhaps bruised your ego a little bit from the past and it feels almost like you're referencing what's happened in the past to what you think is going to happen in the future and what you think is going to happen in the now and that's just not the case honey right we can't be uh continually continually focusing on what happened in the past because it's like it's happened. This, I feel like so many people forget that this world, there are just so many different possibilities, right? And yeah, maybe you just end up striking unlucky that one time. And in the past, something, you fell flat on your face. But if everyone always just fell flat on their face, then we wouldn't accomplish anything. You have to continue uh, persevering. You have to continue pushing through. And it's ultimately, ultimately, I don't know why I said that weird, Aries, it's ultimately reliant on you deciding for yourself truly that you deserve better deciding for yourself that you like the work that you put in deserves to have like a certain level of accomplishment right we have the queen of pentacles coming out for you twice here in two different tarot decks so this is really a week i mean one thing i do want to say um areas is when it comes to the queen of pentacles there is this push to um open yourself i mean while i would normally just associate and i still do obviously associate the queen of pentacles as somebody who is um tending to themselves more being kinder to themselves more i see this energy as also like opening yourself up a little bit to other people as well i see you uh this calling rather aries for you to start trying to include other people in part as part of your plans right let's just say like you had a failed business plan last time Aries and so this time around maybe you should include other people maybe you should include other people's perspectives other people's outlook um just to see where you can um improve from the last time if you don't like that failure that happened in the last time then 
you know, let's what what results can we do? Like, what can we do to get different results, right? Rather than just feeling like the every single time you do this one thing, you're going to get the same results. That's not realistic. That's not. I mean, obviously, I guess in some cases, but you know, if you don't want the same results, don't do the same thing, right? But that doesn't mean you can't continue going after the thing that you want to accomplish, right? The Empress card comes in as well, where it, this is that card of being just really in sync with the universe. You don't take things personally, right? I always like to say with this as an example is like when a teacher gives you a pop quiz or a test of any type you don't take it personally um, I mean I guess you could but um, normally you won't feel like personally offended by it when a test asks you a question that you don't initially just know right off the bat right because it's like the test isn't there to just make you fail logically but it's there to uh, challenge you it's there to push you it's there to build some character in you so that you're better prepared for the future so that you're able to handle things more difficult right so see whatever happened in the past as something to allow you to grow rather than falling victim to it is this overall theme for the general message for that such a heavy loaded message right there huh Aries. So, um, what deck do we want to use? Honey? We're going to use the Necronomicon again. I've been really enjoying using this deck again for my reading. So, Aries, how this works is I'm going to be doing a row for your career and finances, and then I'm going to be doing a row for your social situations, and then we'll just do a row just for any final thoughts from Spirit on your situation, what you should be looking at, what you should be doing, right? So, let's get on with my areas that are interested in their finances and their career. So starting this out, Aries, before I pull clarifiers, we have the Ace of Cups coming in. Beautiful. Ten of Swords coming in. Okay. And then we have the Ace of uh, Wands as well. So I always say this, Aries, whenever I see a bunch of uh, Aces, especially when it's paired like this together, um, really such an affirming sign and like at least in regards to your career for my areas that have been deciding going back and forth with doing something um but perhaps they haven't wanted to do something because of like what happened in the past the these two aces come in as being like when you see a bunch of aces areas it's like an affirmation from spirit from spirit to be like no go ahead and do this right now you're considering the aces that they are but if we consider what the aces are we have with the ace of cups and the ace of wands i mean this is such beautiful energy honey this is where your heart opens up more which is what we were talking about with those queen of pentacles being kinder to yourself by treating yourself by spoiling yourself by honoring yourself that's how you go forward in life that's how you continue pushing through in your path and that's what this ace of wands is the representation of as well by you opening up more is that there's like a quote and i don't remember who it's from aries but it's the quote something along the lines of the world opens up when you do not really a deep quote or essentially something that involves a lot of thought but it is kind of that theme Ten of Swords comes in is where you're closing off a cycle. Now, in this deck, right, it is a little bit dramatic with this artwork, honey. Oh, man, it's like someone's being put up for a chopping block, right? But um, I see this more so as you putting the chopping block to, chopping block to uh, you with your insecurities, you with whatever it is that's holding you back, right? I don't really see this as a person. I mean, maybe it is for some of you, Aries, but I really get more so the sense of, like, um... This is like finally the closure for your anxiety, perhaps, when it comes to doing this. And you just actually finally just doing it. Um, so really good cards right off the bat. Um, let's see if we can go a little bit deeper with this, though. All right. So we have the clarifier eight of pentacles for your ace of wands. So, you know, we're going, I'm, I'm going to keep referencing this card, honey. I know some of you Aries are probably going to be sick of it by the end of this reading. But, um, you know, what was I saying before? You learned from what you did in the past so you can continue going forward. So you can elevate yourself um, on the current path that you're at. Yeah, that thing happened in the past. That bump in the road happened in the past. But what can we learn from that situation? What can we do to grow from that situation as the Empress? to elevate ourselves, right, with the Queen of Pentacles? What can we do to continue on our path? What can we do to learn, um, right, to just go further? So then we have the Ten of Swords coming in with the Three of Swords. So this is some pain here. I do want to look into this a little bit more, Aries. I'm going to be honest here. Um, but two Swords cards coming in paired nicely. So this, whatever that Ten of Swords is, I, you know, I always, I said that I see this more so as like your insecurity, 
that you're putting like a cutting the head off to um but i feel like this through the source just adds more of like a weight of like how much it was, it's been weighing you down so let's get some clarification maybe for some of maybe i'm wrong right aries maybe for some of you guys this is regards to like an annoying boss or co-worker perhaps but let's see with some quick clarifiers with this as well so the three clarifiers i pulled aries is the knight of swords yeah knight of swords four of pentacles and then six of swords so yeah the knight of swords is that wishy-washy energy you're going back and forth with it and the four of pentacles is worrying about where it is that you want to put your investments in right so it is i really do get this sense of it's just kind of like moving on from like old habits old patterns that you've had the things that used to always trigger you before Aries you're starting to get to this place of just releasing this pain and no longer falling victim to it anymore right it's because it's been through this pain that's been making you hard to or made your vision cloudy on what it is that you want to wear of where it is that you want to place your pentacles where it is that you want to place your investments so um yeah really good on that Aries and then for your ace of cups Ace of Cups clarifier. I get to being this way when I talk so fast, it is. Um, we have the Four of Wands coming in. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Four of Wands is a card of where it's already in the back. I like to see it as it's already in the back. Um, I see it as like that. It is that 1111 portal if you look, that wish. So beautiful when you have it with the Ace of Cups as well. Um, is kind of like walking through that portal and notice aries remember what i was talking about at the beginning with those ace of nice with those queen of pentacles right remember i was talking about like opening yourself up involving other people i got that sense even though there was no specific card for it and this is confirming to me notice there's more than one person here now aries you could argue with me and be like well like this is like the marriage card but i don't think there's like i don't think it's a coincidence that um you have the four of wands coming up with your ace of cups where it's like you open your heart up and that's when people people come with you to like not only help celebrate you very much so that three of cups energy but also to um assist you right to assist you getting to that 1111 portal so really something to consider is i really do feel like there are some untapped things uh untapped things untapped people uh that would be really valuable to you but you haven't um utilized them i hate using that kind of wording because it sounds so dehumanizing but I feel like you get my point here. I feel like there's just people around you that would like to help, but they don't feel like they have the opportunity to, or they're just waiting for you to open up to them so they can help. So Aries, we're getting into your social career, uh, social career, social situations now, which are my Aries that are interested in social. And the fiery energy continues on, honey, for my Aries. So we have the Eight of Wands here. This is you coming into your power, beautiful. Queen of Wands coming in, really nice. You are really starting to feel confident in your social situations now, Aries. You're getting a better sense of self, um, perhaps probably because of some alone time, probably perhaps um, you've had to just make some adjustments. And I feel like, I mean, I am gonna be honest here, you have the Tower card, Aries. We'll get some clarifiers on this, but it does seem to be like, this sense of where it's like you wipe the slate clean maybe even just with like again like your own mental relationship with people um and then just with a new approach a new empowered approach um you're able to have a much better connection with people right so let's just say something that did come to mind aries maybe if you always just had a bunch of insecurities and that's what stopped you from allowing yourself to open up to people um and just connecting with them Perhaps it just seems as if you're able to identify this and then you're just like, oh, I need to fix this with myself. So I really celebrate you for that, Aries, because it's like so often people get so stuck in these cycles of um, not holding themselves accountable. And that's the most dangerous thing that you can do. When you start, this is the thing that I always like to say is when you start talking about the people in your life or the people that have been in your life, and it's always about them, right? If you're always being like, oh, this person did this, this person did that, this person is toxic for X, Y, and Z, right? If it's always about them and there's no self-reflection going on, honey, that's when I know that the ego is a little bit too present there because it's like, it takes two people to tango and let's not pretend as if we're all just perfect human beings, right? Yeah, we are trying our best, but so are other people, right? I don't feel as if, um, 
maybe that's just my optimism but i don't feel as if people are trying to always like trying to go after other people i feel like they're just trying to get to the next day like we all are honey so i see this as where you started having conversations with yourself so beautiful the clarifier that i have for your eight of wands continuing on with that fiery passionate energy six of wands you guys are really just going forward in your life aries um you guys really it's almost just like you've had your aha moment of being like okay this is what it I, what it is i need to work on in myself and then once you can start working on yourself that's when a lot of stuff just opens up right six of wands is that victory card um you're finally being noticed um it is like that public recognition card aries so for my aries that um have been interested in being noticed by someone or a group of people even this is definitely a good week for you to open yourself up to that energy nine of cups comes in with the queen of wands so as i was saying confirming um you definitely had to go into this place aries of self-reflection i feel like the self-reflection only happened once you realized that um, once you had to like rely on yourself a little bit and then you're just like, oh, that actually doesn't feel so good just being by myself, not having other people helping me. Right. Um, and then the tower card. Yeah, this is what I was suspecting was happening. Uh, Aries, eight of swords, eight of swords is where it's just like you felt trapped by the environment. And so you're doing away with it. You're removing the blindfold. You're taking off the swords that were that was getting in your head um, from allowing you to open up to this connection, to any connection, right? Because I don't feel like, I honestly don't get a sense of like one specific person that I'm tapping into energetically. Aries, I kind of just see this as like a whole encompassing thing for you. And it's just similar energy to the career in the sense that you want, like you opening up and like you, the more in tune that you are with yourself, the more the universe responds and the people around you respond in a positive way. So Aries, um, we're going to wrap this up. Well, I guess we already have the cards that came out for you. Um, <laughs> we're going to wrap this up with some general messages, some final thoughts. We pulled how many cards? Five cards that came flying out, but I feel like all of them are for you. So let's look at this. A lot of major arcana, a lot of nine. So something I do want to say, write down nine for numerology, um, Aries, because this nine does keep popping up, popping out for you. So let's break this down. Let me show these cards, right? Did I even go into this one card? Um, I feel like I didn't go into the Nine of Cups. Um, the Nine of Cups that we have here, where... Yeah, actually, I think I did, because it was with the Queen of Wands, where um, you just find that happiness. You find that fulfillment, right? So I brought up that Nine of Cups from before, because the Nine of Cups is following you again with the Nine of Wands, right? This is just such a beautiful week for you. It's such a beautiful reading overall, honestly, of things just opening up. You, like, through you tapping into your own power, that's when your cups start being filled. That's when you, things just start working out, I feel. Like, I feel like things are just going to start flowing relatively e I'm not going to say it's just going to be easy going for you, Aries, um, right? That's just life. It's not realistic. But I do see things just starting to, a little, you're dealing with a little less resistance the empress comes in following you the lover's card and the hermit you know so this is uh, interesting energy in the sense of um i feel like this empress comes in as a sense of um re-looking at big decisions that you've wanted to do right um, the lovers, I mean, I, obviously the lovers can represent like an actual person, but again, I don't feel like I'm ever tapping into one specific person for you in this reading areas. Um, I feel like the lovers more so represents the bigger decision on things. And I feel like you're being called to, it's almost just like some plans that you've had, um, areas that you have been jumbling within your brain. The spirit's trying to be like, well, let's take a look at this again. Not to say that you're doing anything wrong or that your thought process is wrong, but now that you've grown, now that you started getting more in tune and tapped into the universe and the world around you as the empress, let's look at these plans. Let's do a little bit of self-reflecting and think about if you want the same things that you wanted like a month ago, two months ago, a year ago, Aries. So... Yeah, that's the reading that I have for you, Aries. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Be sure to share this video with a friend if you think they might be into my messages. And I will connect with you at a later point, Aries. Until next time, I love you so much. Bye.